Hi guys, thanks for stopping by. If you're new here, my name is Sharon. If you're returning, thanks and welcome back. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button below and join our family. Hit that notification bell twice so you'll be notified when I upload new videos and I upload new videos multiple times a week. Today on Creative Glam, I'm gonna share with you a DIY glam wall mirror. Let's get started. I'm starting with this wooden shadow box. And I got this from Michaels. And I think you can paint on this. You can use the other side and turn it into a shadow box. I thought they were really cool. They come in a pack of three. Um, I got a couple packs because there's a couple uh, craft projects I wanna do with these. So I thought these would be wonderful as my base instead of having to cut out a, a plastic board, a plastic ready board, or even going over to Home Depot and getting a piece of wood cut. I purchased these, these are 12 by 12 and they come in a set of three. And the largest mirror in this project is 12 by 12. So I thought this was the perfect base. Now I am going to, however, bling out the edges here so that as it hangs on the wall, I don't want you to be able to see this. So I'm going to put some bling wrap on that. I've already cut out a piece and it's gonna be four rows deep. So, and I'm gonna need four pieces. I, this is not the adhesive kind. This is not the kind that I usually uh, use in my projects. But I thought because I was going to need so much of it, and as you can see, I have a lot of it, I thought that I'd give this a try. Now, I was going to use the adhesive uh, um, bling wrap to actually go on the mirrors itself, but I'm not sure how that's going to look. I'm not sure if I use these on the top and these on the side, if it'll make a difference, but I guess we'll see as we go. hot blue fingertips. This mirror will sit on top. As you can see, I've already removed of the black tabs on all the mirrors. I just used a credit card and uh, scraped it off. And now I'm going to use my glue. I thought I had more E6000 than this, but clearly I don't. I'm gonna be using E6000. I'm also gonna be using the Gorilla Glue and hot glue.
Okay, now I've got both mirrors pretty much set. Now before I bling them out, I'm gonna let them sit and dry. I'll be right back. Okay, so now the mirrors are dry and I'm going to add the bling, some more bling. I've already added the bling down here. Remember, I used the wooden base, the 12 by 12 wooden base. I added bling around the edges and then I added a 12 by 12 mirror. And then on top of the 12 by 12 mirror, I added the 5.8 by 5.8 mirrors on top and at an angle and then this main mirror here on top is a 7.9 inch mirror all the mirrors came from michael's uh everything came from michael's so now i've got the bling and i'm going to attach it to the mirror inspiration for this project came from a couple sources one was from pinterest the other was two creators here on youtube and one of those creators was Petal is Blessed. The other YouTube creator, I do not remember what her name was. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take those three sources of inspiration and create my own DIY bling glam wall mirror.
I like the way they turned out. I considered adding some more bling to it, but I don't want to do too much, but I don't want to do too little either. I feel like this center mirror in here could use a little more bling. What do you think? More bling or leave it as it is? Now I'm going to add the command strips. Like I said, I still have to get the residue off the mirror. So if any of you out there, leave a comment down below and let me know how I can get the rest of the residue off the mirror. I tried alcohol, I tried Windex, I even tried mineral spirits. You know how you clean up paint with? None of it seemed to work. So if you guys have some ideas out there as to how to get off Gorilla Glue, let me know. Off of mirror, let me know down below. Okay guys, that's it. I'm all done with my DIY glam wall mirrors. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed my video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and join the family. Hit the notification bell twice so you'll be notified when I upload new videos and I upload new videos multiple times a week. And on that note, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you right back here on Creative Glam. Bye!